Hey everybody, David Lemon here again with a video about the fixes we did for this recent deployment. There are separate videos for the things we added into the system, things we improved in the system, and now this is the video about what we fixed. So these are mostly bug fixes and some small adjustments for the things that we didn't want them to act a certain way. Also, you guys reported majority of these, so uh, these are going to make a lot of you happy. So starting from the smaller ones, if you were resizing the text and you decided to type in the the number of the of the size you want to 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 have for your text, for example, let's just type in seventy. Previously, the actual typing in of these numbers were jumping out to 100 first and then the next time when you typed in the number then it was actually uh, sized properly. Now we fixed that so whenever you're sizing the first time you get it right. This works on on any kind of text element. Um, another thing that we did is the hover animation was not working. So when you select an element and you set up a navigate, sorry, an animation, uh, let's just choose, I don't know, pulse, and when you selected the animation type on hover, that was not working. So now we fixed that. And whenever you, whenever you set this up and preview the the pages, you can see nothing is happening. But when you hover, then the animation starts firing, and it works now beautifully. The next thing that we did is the collapse element. The collapse element had a couple of different issues where it was overlapping. So overlapping happened when you had multiple of these collapse elements uh, stacked below each other. And when you duplicate these, now uh, the collapse is not going to happen. The text was overlapping above on one on the top of each other, and that's not happening anymore, as you can see here. Also, a, we tested it in, in different scenarios, and that's not happening anymore. So that's cool. Um, let me just delete this quickly so that we can move on with the next things. Um, yeah, sometimes when you renamed the pages, so for example, you created a page and you and you renamed it before saving it. So just rename like this. Let's just use um, this is David's new page like that when you renamed it and you saved it then there was an error that showed up in the in the right corner just behind this video of mine um, which said um, item not found error so that's basically now fixed it's not showing up anymore um, oh yeah when you had when you had one of these sidebars opened up and when you exited from the builder then the the actual layout and the and the sidebar was was left on the screen it was a very strange ghost effect it, when you went to your pages uh, section and in group pages this was still visible on there so we got rid of it we made sure that doesn't happen anymore and one of the other things was that icons were not linking to different blocks. So let's just say that we add on an icon element in here, um, an icon somewhere around here, perfect. And if we want to link this to a block, let's just choose block number four. That was not working before. So when you went and set it up, it was not actually firing anything. It was showing up, but it was not firing anything. Now it is actually firing, it's just not on the, in the preview. Um, so we fixed that one as well. Um, pages are not showing up in the pages tab when a certain template is imported. Yes, yeah, so that was happening uh, in certain cases where you imported a template or a, or a specific um, specific code of a template into your canvas, then that page was not showing up in this pages navigation. That's now fixed. It shouldn't happen anymore. Uh, and you should see all of your pages now. Also, if you decided to save a page as a template, it was giving errors. So save a personal page template now, now works beautifully. It's saving. Once it saves, it's going to show up a nice little green option over here that the content is saved. And now when you go and add the page from the from the template library, you can see it. It, it takes a little bit of time to generate the, the actual um, screenshot. But once you actually select a page, it brings in the page with the proper setup that you had on there. 
Um, and also, there was a big issue with with you must be an admin error. Some people reported that selecting a template doesn't work because it just shows you must be an admin. Uh, also, when you reached out to support and they actually helped you and they saved the changes, then somehow the the permissions were over overridden in the in the backend code of the site and users were not able to access it anymore that's not happening anymore that was fixed as well and now when you reach out to support for help or you import templates or you do uh, import a share funnel for example it's going to allow you to edit it and not prompt that error anymore so these are some of the some of the fixes there is a couple more on the way we didn't manage to to deploy it they uh, they are still stuck in the testing phase um, like pop-ups for example page exists error and things like that these are coming very very soon they're just in the testing phases i mentioned once they pass we're going to deploy it and i'm going to create another video like this about that so in case you have any questions about additions improvements or fixes please let me know in the comments below and then we can get that answer for the groove pages side of things thank you very much see you guys